Welcome back to Olympus Critics. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does help the channel grow. So we got a teaser of from season three. I was not expecting this. I thought it would have dropped something a little later in the year, but yeah, I mean, it's gonna be dropping in the fall. I wish it was summertime, but fall it will be. We got, we saw some stuff in here. Now, about the person who a lot of people are suspecting that is, you know, screaming and Boyd is talking to, uh, a lot of people think it's Julie. A lot of people think it's Sarah. We, we, I think it's Sarah for that scream. It sounded like Sarah's scream when she was in pain, when they're, they're, like, they're like possessing her or something like that or trying to use her body as a vessel. Um, it could be Julie. Julie did um, avoid a close call in the previous season. And then when you see him and Jay carrying that body, you, I mean, it looks like a child's foot. So I don't know if that's Ethan. I mean, I don't think it's Ethan. It could be, but I doubt it because I mean, I mean, it looks like that that child in white has been very, 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 very active when it comes to Tabitha's family, and we didn't we didn't see. I don't know if we saw Tabitha. I have to go back and watch that teaser. It was so fast, but Tabitha, for what it was alluding to, that she got out of that place. Well, I mean. We don't know until that uh, to the season drops. We officially know she got out of there and left her family. And how would she get back in there to get to her family if she did get out of there? And Victor, I said it on the season finale, he is the key. But a lot of people don't know that Victor knows how, he knows where to go to get up out of there. Jade was on him. Jade was on him, and Jade he still he still does not know that Sarah is responsible for taking out his, his friend i don't know if they're going to um talk about that when that season dropped if sarah did is one of the people that you know passed away in this and then you got these these people are those the people that the chain man was warning board board about he said they was the monsters were just the tip of the spear now we did see teases that the monsters can adapt Boyd mentioned this in season one when he said they used to screech, they used to make noises, and then they stopped once they got he got those little amulets to um, slow them down for process. I mean, for um, proceeding in people's homes. And we saw last year when the people on the bus got there, the monsters did something a little different. They didn't take out one of the people immediately. They start toying around with the young lady and her, and her boyfriend. And they left her on a tree with that thing in her head, and they had to, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a sad moment what Boyd them had to do. And now that Boyd has, I don't know if that's still in his blood. We know that his son, he injected that stuff in his son, so they may be adapting because these got to be the monsters that that held him hostage. Maybe they've gotten a lot smarter and more resourceful for how they will um, take on Boyd and the people and it looks like the weather has changed I, I mean i saw a little glimpse of snow so i don't think that's ever happened either so yeah i can't wait for season three i mean it looks like a lot of stuff is about to go down boy may be on the break he may be on the break i mean this is this is crazy that he's this, 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 he had to watch somebody um go he, we may see him break a little bit in, in this season three. But post comments. Let me know what you guys think. What's going on? Do you think Fatima will still have that baby? Man, I can't wait. Post comments. Let me know what you guys think.